What's up guys, hello and welcome to another episode of the Ola Mexico travel series. So today it's time to say goodbye to this condo and move to another destination along the Oaxacan coast. So I started preparing already last night, did my laundry, set them up to dry under the under the fan. Um, it's a, I really like having a fans here so you don't have to keep the aircon running, just keep the fan running for a bit. And anyways, the uh, clothes dry up inside the house in like few hours so you don't have to wait too long. Had a washing machine so made good use of that. So now time to pack everything in the bags and start moving forward. So let's get started. Alright, all set, packed and ready. Uh, let's do a quick room inspection because I spread the stuff all around. So this was one of the bedrooms that I never used. Uh, was using it to access the balcony. Bathroom is clean, never used the storage space. Bedroom, checked all of the stuff. Bathroom, nothing here, nothing there. Storage, grab the bags. Okay, set. Sounds good. Now we'll go to the office and ask for a cab. I saw in the office they have this like a uh, walkie talkie so they could uh, radio the cab guys so they are on the network and then one of them is gonna come because <coughs> I think the walking is about half an hour from here but you saw the weather so with both the backpacks I'm not gonna walk to the bus station and start sweating already. So let's go to the office, wait for a cab and get to the Ado bus terminal, see which bus we have to get us to the destination. Uh, it turns out the, I saw the route closures for triathlon so the hill that I climb uh, it's blocked off so the cabs can't come this side but if I go down to the main road I can grab a cab from there so that's completely fine. I guess I'll end up at the grocery store anyway then. In 35 pesos in under 10 minutes, I go to the bus terminal. This is the bus terminal. Uh, he started asking if I'm going to the next destination and I said yes. And he said, do you want to take a cab for like 1000 pesos? I was like, no, I'd rather take a bus for like 200 pesos. So like, uh, they, they do the uh, direct taxi rides from here as well. It's a short distance, relatively short distance. So let's grab a bus ticket, see what time the bus leaves. Okay, all set. Uh, they were offering this bus, but this is like a smaller one, so I took a bigger one, which is in like 20 minutes, so why not wait? Um, price is like 248 pesos and should be about two, two and a half hour journey. So not a bad deal. Uh, definitely cheaper than the thousand pesos for a cab, but if you want like a private cab, right, that's the way to do it. So now just wait for the bus to arrive and then off we go. Compared to the Tapo terminal, this is a much smaller one. I don't even see any shops of food and stuff here. So um, grab your snacks and stuff from outside if you want to come. And also like when I was entering the this terminal for the ticket pricing and timetables and stuff on the website, it kept picking up the one in Santa Maria. So that's a bit further. There's another bus stop. So be very careful when you're picking this one. So this is uh, much closer to the that um, grocery store that I've been visiting all this time. It's just for reference. But now we just wait and yeah, nothing much to do here. It's like a small terminal. And they said the, the bus is gonna come right here. So um, they're not gonna give out like the uh, lane numbers and stuff normally because the tapo is huge. So there they have to do it. Here is not necessary.
in two hours finally made it to Puerto Escondido uh, two hours and a little bit more so now I have to figure out where my accommodation is so let's get there maybe we'll find something to eat soon it's about 1 30 time for lunch anyway found it there's a restaurant right here as well that opens at 5 p.m so dinner should be easy to find and then there are plenty of shops around so lunch should be easy to find as well it's just 2 p.m there's still an hour to check in so job brought my backpack and I'm gonna go eat something first there's like a marketplace right here so That was a very nice meal, a bit on the pricier side, but I'll make up for it in some other meal. But very fulfilling, so like 700 something pesos, so a bit over the budget that I wanted to keep, but I just walked into it, it looked like a nice place. Food was good, uh, turned out to be slightly on the fine dining side. Anyway, it's 3 p.m., headed back to get my room, let's see what the room is from the inside. Okay, so made it to the room it's a full service apartment but like a small one not super fancy as before but still has all the facilities this is like the washroom area fridge with water spout the kitchen area i guess that's for like a water dispenser which i don't have and then this is like the drawing dining area drawing dining and there's the bed it also comes with like a small aircon over there so that's very very useful and like a mini tv there should also be a swimming pool here let's walk outside and see how it works with the swimming pool well find the pool is just right there but there are ladies swimming so i'm not gonna film it anyway we'll show you show you that side in some other vlog um I'm gonna wrap this log up here. I'm gonna change and jump into the pool. I'm already starting to sweat again. And see you again in another episode of the Ola Mexico travel series.